All right, Trader Gen is open. I need to get that damn motorcycle soon. And my best bet first off is going to be checking the tier three completion bonus. But I'm going to need to do two tier threes to make that happen. That's a lot of Mega Crush. I will buy that. When do you reset Gen tomorrow? Okay, there will be another chance for more books then at least. Let's take a quest. Oh, a fetch. Nice. You need some work? Thanks, son. That's going to make this much faster at least. We have to deal with a horde later today as well. So that'll be something I have to get some pipe bombs for. Oh, I forgot to bring my spaghettis. Let's uh, just buy a bunch of shit. <laughs> also, if I can get nine more books, I will be able to make my own motorcycle. That would also work. So I would say it's pretty likely that I'm going to end up with a motorcycle soon. I just can't guarantee that it's going to be today. That's kind of the problem with the systems. But tomorrow the traders reset, so there's another chance books are pretty likely and I'll be able to get that tier 3 complete today then we could do Trader Hugh if I still don't get enough parts which I'm not going to get enough parts actually now that I think about it because Trader Gen's tier 3 complete even if she gives me the motorcycle parts which she's not guaranteed to do will only give me one of the parts and I still don't have the knowledge to make the rest so I would need to get at least two of them to tier 3 should have taken that tier 3 bonus when Trader Bob gave me it but there was a pump shotgun and at the time, that was good. <laughs> I didn't think it would take so long. Let's start this. And see if I can get myself up to that book. Can I not claim these? These are not the claimable ones. Okay, let's go inside then. Some books here. Fists. Oh, hold still. Bleh. Oh, there's someone in there? Okay. Here we go. Anyone in here? Hi. Dude, a feral tourist. Did he hit me? I think he did. Didn't do much damage though, at least, because my armor is amazing. Hello? Another one of these. He dead? Nope. There we go. We're on this level. That was one of those fake screamers. It's in this room. Or... Oh, maybe it's not in this room. Okay. There's the satchel. No sense doing the rest of this. I'm not going to get anything useful from it. Oh, hello. Let's go back to Jen and get my first reward and then we'll do whatever that other tier 3 was. For some reason it's determined to only give me restore powers because the game thinks it's funny and I hate those. So that's a bit of an issue. Alright, we're back at Jen's. Let's see what she gives me. I knew you had it in you. Um, I'll take the magazine bundle. Could be vehicles after all. Let's take that fetch and clear. Fantastic. Ah, two vehicle adventures. Perfect. That does really help. That means I only have to find seven more, which is massively helpful. Fancy. Let's start this and clear it out. Ooh. Where's the satchel? Oh, it's in a room over there. Okay. Oh, double head pop. Nice. Anybody in here? Hey! Ow. Red die, I'll put that on my shotgun. What's this? 10% more damage against coyotes. I am never going to find those, so... Not all that helpful. On to the roof. Oh, hey. Still not clear? Okay. Oh, we're going back down. Got it. Hey, failing cabinets. Armored up. Tactical warfare. And hammers and sledgehammer. Uh, hammers and shotguns, sorry. Let me bash open this safe really quickly. Insulated liner. The snow isn't really terribly affecting me right now, but I can probably find somewhere to put that. Actually, no, I can't. Pretty much all of my slots are needed, so we'll just have to work with what I have, but I have 
the uh, well insulated perk anyway, so shouldn't really need it. Handguns, home cooking, more books in here, and the filing cabinet with tactical warfare. All of these are completely useless because I've already got the best gear. The only thing I need is vehicles and a crucible. More books over here. Paper, unfortunate. Here's the end loot though. Tactical warfare. Let me open up this book container especially. Uh, water purifier mod. Yeah, nothing too helpful there. Bunch of ammo from that though. Gas and gas container. Nothing there. Check the crack about container. Nothing too helpful there either. Weapons bag probably isn't gonna have much. Yep. Open that up. Let me bash open the end loot. And then we'll head back to Jen and hopefully if my math is correct, we should get the tier three complete for that. If not, we can do some tier twos just to move it along. Either way, I've recently been thinking about how I could work with sponsors and partners and stuff on this channel so that I can make more money to invest into the channel and make it better. And I thought the best way to do that, really, would be to just take some of the ad slots that I have in the video. You know, when you're watching a YouTube video and you get an ad and it plays. If I just take one of those slots out and put my own ad in, I don't think you're being affected in any way because you can just skip my ad if you don't care about it, right? You can just go tap, 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 tap and then it'll be over. And if you actually like the ad, then you're not getting double added, right? You're not getting an ad in the middle of like a partnership or a sponsorship. So I think I'm gonna do that. A completely flawless segue into this next section. I recently partnered up with a server host in the UK called Level Up Hosting. They are a small UK based server host that offers game servers for a bunch of popular games like CS2, Minecraft, Seven Days to Die, Pal World, Project Zomboid and Valheim just to name a few. And I've partnered with them to bring you a 10% discount on their servers using my referral code is prebuilt. But right now they're running a 20% sale on their seven days to die servers, which I'm guessing is the most relevant to you. I used their service before partnering with them and it was genuinely one of the easiest setups I've ever done. Just choose the size of the server, pick your settings, purchase it, wait a quick five, 10 minutes for it to be set up and then customize your world and settings. You do this by going to the files tab, going to server config and changing the settings like you would in the the main menu. I have told them that it would be a lot easier for a lot of people if they could do that from the dashboard of the server because I know a lot of people find XML a little bit intimidating but it is really easy but nonetheless they were very open to that feedback which is a great thing about level up hosting they're very receptive to feedback and they've told me they're basically working on that already. Right now the servers are only based in the UK so if you're outside of Europe you might have a few ping issues so definitely consider that before spending your money on it. But if you've had any issues trying to get customer support with some of the bigger server hosts that are available, maybe getting put with chat bots or locked in a loop of people who aren't very helpful, you don't have to worry about that with level up posting. Just join their Discord server and let them know that something's wrong and they'll get to you as soon as possible. And right now, they're a pretty small business, so you probably won't have to wait in a particularly long line. So if you're one of my European viewers and you're looking for a quick and easy way to get your seven days to die server up, look no further than level up hosting. Use the link in the comments or description or my referral code is prebuilt to get 10% off your purchase and support me, obviously your favorite creator, as I get a commission when you buy the service. But I have used these servers myself and it really was a lot easier than anything I've dealt with before. Back to the video. All right, Trader Jen, okay? well uh, give me steel. Ah, she didn't give me it. <laughs> no, she gave me a chemistry station. I wasted all that money <laughs> and time as well. That's also a problem. Uh, let me take the other chemistry station. You never know when you might need a second chemistry station. They are a investment and a half after all they take like 10k jukes to buy or you need to get a bunch of acid so i'll take it right well I shit i don't know what to do now someone was just looking i need to find books which i think you guys have noticed by now let's go to that bookstore over there that's what i'm gonna do i might find enough books to just move me just enough in the right direction to where it doesn't feel impossible to get the motorcycle I don't have any points in Grease Monkey though. Do I have a spare skill point? No, that's going to be very painful to deal with, but it's fine. Since the traders have failed me today, my best bet is going to be just reading books. Finding books and reading them. So I'm going to check these mailboxes as I go past. I've already searched probably most of these, but you never know. Ah, here we go. Uh, tactical Warfare. See, that's the real problem with the Learn by Reading system is... Once you've got four points in machine guns, for example, and the trader quests have given you a level 6 M60, you've still got to find 
like 60 books in your class to get it out the loot table to then find things that you actually need like vehicle magazines. That's my real issue with this system. Do I have a solution for it? Well, the main one would be something like the research bench mod, which I used a couple of series ago, where you basically just, if you get a book you don't need, you just kind of scrap it into research data and then use the research data to craft the books you do need. So like 10 books you don't need can be turned into like two books you do need. That would be probably their best bet of salvaging this system without completely ripping it out and starting again. And I'm honestly not sure if I would want them to rip it out and start again, because, like, they do that with everything all the time anyway, and I'd really rather they stop doing that 10 years into their game. So, yeah, maybe just integrating the research bench mod into the game would be the best move for the Fun Pimps, but I'm sure they're at least aware of how much feedback they've had about it and how bad it fucking is, so they'll probably be thinking about it. But then again, the last time they thought about how to solve a problem, we ended up with the learn by reading system, so maybe I don't trust that thought too much. Hmm. Anyway, I'm gonna head over to this bookstore, I'll see you there. Hang on, I was just over here, um, heading over to that bookstore. Do I see a Trader Joel over there? If so, that's actually quite useful, because he'll be a trader I've not checked yet, so let's go and see if Trader Joel has any vehicle books, or maybe even just vehicle parts. He's not Bob. So he's not as likely to have them, but there's no reason he can't have them. They are still a thing he sells. Also, this grocery store has a guaranteed cement mixer in it, which means if I can get... Yeah, this take this random chair I have. We just jump in here, grab a free Forge Ahead book there. 35 out of 75, we'll have those crucibles one day. Right, let's go talk to Joel really quickly before we head over to that bookstore. You might have everything we need just here. Also, he'll have another cement mixer and forge, which will mean another couple of uh, forge head books. There's one. And there's two. Oh, didn't read that one. There we go. Also, he usually has a box over here, which has a very high chance of military armor. And while I don't need military armor, worth a look. Yeah, see? Military chest. Now you know. You can get that on day one, if you're lucky, from those chests. But you probably won't. We sell only the best... Tell him a couple of things and see if he's got anything good. He is the armor guy, so I'm not too excited about him. He's got vehicle adventures. That's something. Anything that pushes me vaguely in the direction of having this fucking thing is welcome. Other than that, though, nothing too useful. I'll take some pipe bombs, though, because I'm kind of rich. Read that. Forge ahead. Uh, vehicle adventures, sorry. Uh, need six more. I could get that soon enough. But then it's that long stretch of how many more books you need to get to the gyrocopter, and it's just like, ugh. Why? Who thought that would be fun? And who thought that would be fun and decided to put fun in their name? Like, you you hedged your all your bets on the idea that you think you know what fun is. And you were wrong. That's a terrible shame. Um, Right, yeah, let's head over to the bookstore. Six vehicle adventures is not happening. But uh, we could get a couple and then I'll be like more determined, I guess, to get the rest. Maybe it'll motivate me. I don't know. I'm coping. I'm coping. Okay. It's a shit system and I want a motorcycle. It's day 21. This is embarrassing. It's actually not that embarrassing. It's hard to be embarrassed when you get like an M60 on day 16, you know. But still, it's annoying. Shotgun book there. We're finished with shotgun magazines. Nice. I could do the sniper books as well. Because I think I said that the Heavy Gunner books give you the ammo discount. But it's not. It's the Sniper books that do that. I forget what the Heavy Gunner discount even is. Or not discount. Effect. Sorry. Let's have a look. Uh, automatic Weapons Handbook. Oh yeah, you get the run speed boost for kills, which is arguably better. Really good for Horde Knight if you can combine it with Run and Gun. They just You don't need a base. There's a Forge Ahead book again. We're getting there on those. This you only need 75 of them. Another Tactical Warfare. Gosh, it's very snowy in this series, isn't it? I said on episode 11. Um, ah, cloth from Plant Fiber, it's not that good. I was hoping it'd be the acid one. Is this the special tots? It's the Poopy Pants City Daycare. That's also a solid PY for books, weirdly, so we might go there next. Right, here we are. It's the slightly shittier um, cracker book, but it's a cracker book nonetheless. We'll get books from it. Can't complain too much. Oh, hello. You're very fast. If I get a couple of vehicle adventures, I'll be okay. 
Let me clear out this first area. No, I'm not quick scoping. You're quick scoping. Fucking die, jeez. Oh, someone's coming that way. Yeah, I think we're clear. Well, actually, there's someone over there. Is there a button or something? Nah, I'll just break it down, it's fine. Whoa. Wait, let's get all these books. Let's see. Uh, hammers, boo. Shotguns, also boo. Shotguns, boo. One vehicle adventures. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Need five more. Tactical warfare. Shotguns. Or mining. Hammers. Clubs and I forgot what the other one was. Shotguns, I think. Explosives, I actually do like that. So, not too bad. Two vehicle adventures so far, that's good. Uh, paper. Hammers. At least hammers will be done soon. Another hammer. Or head, also a useful one. Handguns. Explosives. Sticks. Shotguns. Tech planet. Oh, I didn't read that. There we go. Alright, there's more though. Check the secret stash up here. Just a book I already know. Okay. Unfortunate. Check this. Uh, explosives, armor, and a needle and thread I already know. The meds. Uh, sledgehammers, two of. A great heist. And bunker buster. A few more shotgun books. I'm hungry again. Is there another one of these? Ah, over here. Uh, shotguns, clubs, and there's also one in here. Rad remover schematic and meds, okay, and that's not great. But we got like two vehicle adventures out here, so we're, we're further than we were before at least. That reminds me, am I gonna get, yeah, I'm game stage 170, so I'm gonna get demos tonight. So this horde might be really hard to do, so I'm gonna bring a uh, mega crush in case the <laughs> warehouse I do my hordes on top of decides to collapse. It shouldn't though. Forge ahead, treasure map, I'll just read that now, I don't really mind. And some useful stuff. Dump that in a mini bike. Oh wait, missed the bookshelf. My own vehicles. Oh. Right, well, oh, another one. I'm terrible at this. There we go. Right, so I'm gonna head home. I did want to do the daycare as well, but I don't think I have time. So let's go home and get ready for the horde. If I see any mailboxes on my travels, I will grab them though. We can worry about vehicle adventures a little bit more tomorrow. Alright, I'm back at my base. I've got a bunch of stuff for horde night. Uh, let's get ready to deal with the horde, I guess. I should get some mega crushes just to make sure that I can run away if I need to. And I, yeah, I have a load of mega crushes, so I'm good. Have I got any beer lying around? Nah, it doesn't look like it. Let me take the M60 as a backup weapon in case I need to run and gun. Because now I do have that 20% run speed bonus, it would be really helpful. Right, let's go get ready for the horde. And in the morning, we'll see if I can finally get a bloody motorcycle. Here comes the horde. Let's see, what game stage am I? 170, there's almost definitely going to be demos tonight, that's going to be fun. we got radiated zombies already. But I mean, overall, can't get much worse than how it's been so far. Still got plenty of pipe bombs, I just need to wait for them to cluster up and then bomb them. Whoa. There we go. I hear a vulture. I guess not. Look, the zombies are still struggling. Now let's use a learning elixir I have here.
I think I hear a demo down there. I've got a skill point. I'm going to put that in Grease Monkey just to make those extra books come that little bit faster. That's the first hour of the Horde survived. So far, so good. Oh, that's a lot of you. I think I heard a lumberjack, not a demo. Oh, there's a demo over there. I wonder if I can actually use that explosive to my advantage. I just need to get the right angle for it, but it's kind of hard because he's facing down the way. There we go. Probably killed a good few of them. I can zoom in even further, I forgot. There's two hours survived. Uh oh. <laughs> the cops destroyed the block I was standing on. Not to worry, just... Oh, okay, we need to run around here then. Barbed wire wasn't letting me get through. It's a big hole. Let me go ahead and... Ooh, lag. Drink a quick one of those. Just need to get up on something really quickly to sort out my haunt bar. Fuck off. Get the M60 ready. And I can use this to get a faster run speed boost if I need it. Let's get my blocks back out. So I think it's still a decent enough horde base. I just need to stand on stronger blocks, you know? If I just hop up there, should be fine. Get up onto the roof again. Ow. Cops. Doing their thing. Where was the block I was standing on? Yeah. Just the same block I've been using for like three weeks. Finally broke. So... Just have to keep that in mind. Oh, okay, that's more than just the block breaking now. I think we're having structural integrity issues. It does make sense though, that pillar that was once there is now just completely gone, I think. So we might have to use the other half of the roof until it starts completely collapsing. Have a look. I don't have many holes over here though, let's see. It's all still up? Yeah. I can fight up here. I have a lot less cover from cops, but though I have to be careful. I hear a vulture, but I don't see it. It's on the roof. That's going to be really annoying. There we go. Apparently there was some kind of explosive battle there. We survived three and a half hours so far though. Just over halfway through Horde. Ow. Is there another cop? Where are they? Oh, I see two. Five to two AM now. Two more hours to go. Uh oh, ceilings collapsing a little bit more. This is probably going to be the last horde where this base is going to work. <laughs> That's fine. Three horde nights in the snow biome of one building. I'll take it. Better than wasting all my resources and time building a base. 3 a.m. now. I need to eat some spaghetti or I'm gonna starve to death. I hear a demo. Where are they hiding? Is 
This thing's still standing. No, it's not. <laughs> Run away. Get on top of like a car and grab a quick mega crush. Here we go. Got any ammo for the M60? Cool. So if I need a quick speed boost, I can get that back. This can also restore my stamina, I think. Some of the roof is actually still standing. I'm going to get back up there. Ow. Rude. Listen, I believe in getting my money's worth. And if this thing still has one pillar standing, it's still going to be my word base. Although it is really barely standing. What pillars are the important ones? We've got a lot of structural support up here, and then a decent bit still over there. So, like, two more blocks broken and this whole thing's coming down. There's a hole here, hello. Kill point. Put that in some minor 69er. Oh, hey, it's morning. Alright, let's clean up the rest of them. I'm gonna use my shotgun for this part. Take a quick first aid, get to heal that abrasion faster. Right, let me go collect some loot really quickly. I may get vehicle adventures out of these bags, you know. Right, well, since the zombies are too shitty to actually take down this place, let's do it for them. This horde base remains undefeated. However, I'm retiring it in victory. A lot of that is being held up by what appears to be one block. I better be ready to run. There we go, we've cleared it out. The Atlas Metal Company was a good horde base for three weeks. And there's a screamer over there because all of that does generate heat. Anyway, let me go get some ammo and then dump off some stuff and then we'll go and see the traders because today they might have enough vehicle magazines or the vehicle parts themselves for me to get what I want. Right, let's go see. How many traders could I even check? I've got one, two, three, four, five. Six. And I could also go northwest to the seventh there at Trader Joe. Let's go and do that. Let us be viber. Right. Right, first Bob doesn't have any of the actual parts, but he does have the book. And I'm gonna buy Much one of those obliged, compound stranger. crossbows. I need three more books to actually get what I want. So either way I think it's gonna happen today, finally. But uh 
really annoyed it took this long. What was that I was going to buy? Oh yeah, the compound crossbow. I have like 40 explosive crossbow bolts I've not used. Those seem like a valuable tool. I need a crossbow to use them, so I use that. Let's next head out to other Trader Bob here. So I'll see you guys over there. Alright, here we are at Trader Bob 1. Hopefully we can get at least one vehicle adventures from him. So he's not got any motorcycle parts. I'm starting to be convinced that honestly I just might not be high enough level for that to happen, but I should be. I'm level 50. Like surely that's, you know, give me a motorcycle time. <laughs> He's not got a book, unfortunately. Anything else useful? Not really. I wonder if I should just put points in Dating Adventurer temporarily and just get it. Because I bet it would work. You come Let me back see. Sometime. Let me eat this and dump a bunch of points in Intellect and then get four points in Dating Adventurer. That's going to give me 40 more Trader Stage, the equivalent of being level 90. Let's see if he has a better inventory now. So he's definitely got a different inventory. Better is debatable. <laughs> yeah, you can see he's got an M60 now, but other than that, he's still not got anything too good. Okay. I'm going to keep this you Dating Adventurer right effect on. Day. One, because I don't have a second for getting Elixir on me. And two, I'll just use it until I've seen all the traders and I've gotten the best shot at getting the best, I guess, uh, trader stage. If I'm getting an M60 in there, we should be pretty damn well into getting motorcycles from the trader. Alright, let's see what Jen has. Well, look what the cat dragged. Let's buy another forget an elixir just so I can reset later. Lots of good weapons there, but no motorcycle parts. Or vehicle adventure books, I don't think. Yeah. Uh it's so annoying. Let's better. go and see Joel up there. Alright, Joel, what have you got? First of all, we can get a forge here, and another one here. There's the vehicle adventures there, at least. We need two more. Come on, Joel. I believe in you. Nothing in the books. Nothing in the science, either, so no motorcycle stuff from uh, Trader Joel here. But he does have his basement, which might have some stuff in it. No, nothing useful here. Let's go see another trader. Right, let's check this Trader Joel. No vehicle books and no motorcycles. Y'all come back now. All right, we got another Trader Bob here. Let's see what he has. Come on, gimme. Thank God, a customer. I thought you might be. There's three vehicle adventures. I think that's all I need. Pleasure. There we go. I can now make a motorcycle. Finally, I will go and check out Trader Hugh first though, because he might just be selling one, and I'd rather just buy it and get out of the way. But I doubt it. <laughs> It's worth a, a quick shot. All right, Hugh, you got anything good? Does this look like a lounge to you? No boots. No motorcycle. All right, let's well, use that for getting kind of elixir and get my skills back. You anyway? Right, let's head back and I'll start making that motorcycle then. All right, so let's get the chassis crafting. Oh, I'm going to need to craft a bunch of glue, but that's fine. I have a chemistry station after all. I've got a bunch of glue, actually. Never mind. I'll probably still do it anyway. Go a bunch more glue. A bunch more water, a bunch more duct tape. Let's get the other ingredients. Okay, let's see, craft the chassis, that'll take two minutes. And then the handlebars need some more duct tape, which is fine, and a headlight. The duct tape's crafting, I just have to... Oh no, I need to make a little bit more. Need a little bit more cloth as well. There we go, craft that six duct tape or whatever. Then I'll be able to set the handlebars to craft, and then we'll have a motorcycle, finally! There we go. So, it'll take like five minutes for that to be done. Glad to finally have that out of the way. Take this, and then craft the motorcycle. There we go. Finally, we have a motorcycle. I can get rid of this bloody mini bike. I'll skip the 4x4, because it's just a bit of a gas user, you know? I don't really need it. Next up will be the gyrocopter, but there's no rush on that. The motorcycle will be gas efficient enough, uh, and fast enough, I think. A good balance between the two. Refuel that. It will use more gas than the mini bike, but it still has a fuel saver, so it's pretty good and it's much faster. This is way more tolerable. So, we finally got the motorcycle that I needed. In the next episode, I'm thinking about maybe going ahead and starting to really start gathering the things to make a farm. I would need a shovel to get a load of clay, but other than that, that might be it. 
Then I need to find a location to make my new house at, and then I still have some high level quests I want to do, and maybe leveling some of the traders to get their tier 5 bonuses to get gyrocopter parts. So there's still some stuff to do in the series, but I'm glad I got this out of the way. Remember to use the link in the description if you want to get 10% off a server with level up hosting. Let me know if you're still enjoying the series, and in the meantime, Special thank you to my members and patrons, if you want to become one of those, there are links in the description to do so. If you enjoyed this video, why not check out another one, I would recommend the one on the top right. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.